Hi guys, hi guys, me Wild Adventure 100 and I'm just going to take you through a few of the tents I use wild camping and hiking. So we're going to start with the, um, kind of the smallest in the lights of the lot, which is this one kilo tent from B&Q. Um, this is also probably the lowest quality tent I have. Um, this can, I do use this occasionally because it only weighs one kilo. So it's the lightest tent I have. Um, basically, it's a good tent, one, two person, quite spacious. However, it's only single skin. It's probably not the best of materials, to be honest with you. And uh, it's not really that waterproof. So this is a kind of uh, a maybe good to fair weather, um, kind of lightweight tent that I could use. But if I knew the weather was going to be pretty bad, and I still wanted a light alternative, I would look at the Campari camper tent. This only weighs two kilos. It's an old um, ridge style tent. Uh, really good, really lightweight. And basically you have an inner tent and a fly. As it says there. Um, it, it gives you kind of extra space inside, extra waterproof, nurse, um, and protection from the elements. Which is what's needed. Um, also, the next tent we're going to look at is the Coleman Nevada FG. It's the third lightest tent I have at 330 kilograms. So 3 kilograms 30. This is uh, an inner tent with a fly. Looks like that. Basically got a kind of dome tent. Oh uh, yeah, by the way, that's the dome tent. Ridge tent, dome tent. This is a kind of better version of this one. Dome has a small porch for your stuff. Stowage inside. Um, this is heavier. Obviously quite compact, small. Good for two people hiking, quite light, good alternative. Um, good for kind of all year round sort of stuff, maybe not winter. Because it can get quite cold in here. I've camped out in this and there's been ice on the inner tent. Which leads me on to the next tent. The biggest and kind of heaviest of the lot, but it's also pretty light. Is the uh, Vanguard Tempest 3 300. It's a three man hiking tent. Um, pretty big. If you fold down smaller. It weighs 3 kilos 45. So, still pretty lightweight tent. Um, so, quite a big capacity. It's kind of um, a tunnel tent design with a large porch area that you can sit in to cook or whatever. Um, stormproof is 3 to 4 season. Really warm inside. I've never been cold in this tent. And uh, this is the tent I usually use on Duke of Edinburgh and stuff like that. So, basically, that's the four main tents that I've been that I've showed you but there is one more which I may show you and that's basically in this bag which I'm not going to really do much review of because it's broken at the moment and I can't use it but it's basically a canvas ridge tent you can see there is ripped it's fixing and um, that's a ridge tent really heavy six kilos so it's not really a contender compared to those because the uh, the Campari that one is uh, round about the same sort of size as this one except it's made of synthetic fabrics rather than the actual true canvas of the old one but um, I'll just go for the price of the tents this one costs one pound bought this second hand really good tent low really cheap good quality though this is really expensive in its day then make a five pound tent from B&Q Bought in the uh, summer sale, quite good for the price, really. Worth it. This one, reduced, because I had a problem with the zip, it wasn't actually a problem, it just needed kind of greasing. But basically, this was £30, so they usually retail about £70. This is a really good tent if you're looking for, and they're quite hard to get hold of, the Nevada, because I think they're pretty old, the tent. Um, but it's a nice, warm, cozy tent, good for all. Good for camping, hiking, mountaineering, etc. Well, actually, maybe, maybe mountaineering in fair weather, I think. So, yep. And then we have the most expensive at £179, near on 180 The Van Gogh Tempest 300 three man tunnel tent. Most reliable, I think. Um, comfy, sturdy, warm, luxurious, and also quite lightweight. So, And it has a 5,000 hydrostatic head. And 5,000 is, is, is good. It's really good. Um, it's probably one of the best at the market at the moment. I have seen a few for 8,000. But other than that, this is, for the for the price, of course, 
because the ones that were like 8,000 were like 500, 600 pounds. So for the price, it's a really good alternative. Um, they come in the 200, 300, I think they also come in 400. So a two man, a three man, and four man. So I bought the mid range four man. So I found the two man was alright, but it wasn't as spacious, obviously. So I went for the bit of extra space. So I uh, hope you enjoy my videos, guys. Wild Adventure over and out.